Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing System Shock 2 and it's gonna be awesome. When we last left our hero, we had rather stupidly driven into a force field, which is apparently keeping the, the oxygen inside. And apparently there's a floating thing out there. I guess the ship isn't moving particularly. Okay, uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to cross this gap at some point, but I, right now I don't have any way to do that. I'm guessing I'm going to need a speed booster upgrade thingy, like hype, a speed booster hypo or a speed booster implant to do that properly because I'm going to need to move very quickly to get that jump done. And I do actually, th I think, need to do that jump. Oh, there's an item out there. Uh, I think I need to do that jump at some point. Let's see. There is, however, another sticky outy bit over here. Ooh, more anites. Another dead person with nothing on them. There's a ladder here, which leads to some place, which I'm not sure what it is. Uh, just the top. Oh, and there's a cyborg assassin over there, which I'm going to shoot. Because screw you, cyborg assassins, I do not like you. Not even slightly. I hear another one. I don't see it, but I do hear it. Well, I don't know where it is. I'll probably find it later. When it kills me horribly. Come on, can I not jump up on this? Huh. I'm guessing that's a way back, then. It looks like a place I ought to be able to jump up uh. on. Ow. That's really far enough for me to take fall damage, game. Oh, joy. Now I have to jump from ladder to ladder. Yay. Well, that wasn't very hard. Oh, there's the dude I was hearing from downstairs. There we go. No more cyborg assassins hanging around. Ooh, and another one of these things I need to kill. And no update on how many are left. Ow! Oh, it's the sparks from that door killing me. I keep forgetting that that can actually happen because it's only happened occasionally in this game. Like, twice, I think. Um, just for the good measure, let's hack this thing because I've got the nanites for it now. So I keep picking some up in here, and turning off security would be kind of useful, I guess. I'm not really sure how much security there is in this area, but, you know, they're giving me a security hackable terminal. I'm going to assume that it is net useful to hack it. There we go. Again, 50 seconds. Oh, I need the Rickenbacker to access card. I guess that's what I need to get in that other room to get. Okay, let's go take a look around and see whether or not I can figure out how to get into that... Oh crap. <gasps> other room. Or, you know, I can die. That that works too. Uh, right then. Well, at least I haven't been going for very long. So it won't take me long to get back to where I was. I'll be right back. So, uh, apparently, I missed the recording up here when I was up here before. So I guess it's a good thing I died. For some reason, they couldn't get a hold of my mind the way they could the rest. So when I found the remains of the data wafer near the crater back on Tau Ceti, I didn't say a word. I just slipped it into my belt and thought, Dr. Polito will know what to do with this. Oh, so somebody was resistant to the mind control effects of the, uh, mini and found a data information chip or something like that. Interesting. You know what? I don't really care enough to continue trying to hack that. It didn't do me any good last time, and I almost nearly fell to my death again. Uh, let's not fall to our deaths down this pit again. That would be embarrassing and frustrating. I'm guessing you need telekinesis to get at that. At least that would be my assumption. Okay, let me go and search around here and see whether or not there's anywhere else to go. Ooh. Well, there's a weapons terminal here. Huh. I'm gonna raise my weapon, my heavy weapon skill one. I could probably max it at this point without much repercussions. I've got so many spare, uh, so many spare nanite, er, not nanites, upgrade module thingies, cyber modules. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. In my possession at this point, that I could probably just take it all the way up, and it wouldn't even matter. But you know. Huh. Well, I'm not sure how to get across that gap. This is kind of bad. I haven't seen any sign of places that I can get...
speed boosters. I may have to backtrack a fair bit and look for a place I can buy them or something like that. Because I'm guessing that's what I have to do to get across there. Because I definitely am not moving fast enough to jump that. Like, I tried that last time and I didn't even come close to getting far enough through it to get to the other side. It does look like there's a ladder over on the other side of this thing, though. Huh. I wonder if there's anything to be found down in any of these ladders. Let's go take a look! I don't really expect there to be because, well, yeah. I'm pretty much expecting these to just be recovery means to get back up. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look like there's anything out here. Okay, uh, well, let me think. What else can I... I still don't know how to get up here. Like, you still can't jump and grab this, so... I have no <clears> idea what <throat> is up there or how to get to it. There's some explosive barrels up there, I think. But I don't see how those would help me get up there. So, for the moment... Yeah, there's explosive barrels over there. And these things, I believe, are explosive as well. Yep. Wasting some ammo. Alright, so, since I need to go and find a, like, speed booster thingy, I think I'm going to pause the recording here and go and try and find a speed booster or something that I can use to get across that gap. Come on, climb. There we go. Actually, I haven't been down here yet, have I? No, I haven't. Oh, and there's another egg thing. Ten eggs remain. Remain. Move quickly. All right, all right. I'll move as quick as I can. Uh, oh, that's a fan. Crawl through the ducts. Uh. Whoa, that was weird. My frame rate just completely tanked for about five seconds there. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what causes that, it just happens occasionally. Um, and we are crawling through. Ooh, a repair tool. Let's see, what are my weapons are damaged? Well, my shotgun's in really bad shape. So I think one of these definitely goes into my shotgun. I can use one for that, one for that. And the last one to repair my shotgun again. There we go. Now my weapons are in good condition once more. Ooh, another recording. What do you say, recording? After a couple of hours, it was, it was like being on a bender. Long periods that you couldn't remember. One minute we were in that crater, the next minute we were loading up the shuttle with the eggs. I remember hearing the idiot Karinchkin calling the Von Braun and ordering them to clear off the entire hydroponics deck. Diego seemed to think this was strange and said, Are you crazy, Anatoly? And Karinchkin smiled and said back to him, Oh, Captain, we are not Anatoly. Oh boy! Whoa! Ah! Oh come on! There's no glass there! <sighs> Alright, I'll be back once again. Alright, we're back. What does this button actually do? I have no idea. Oh, it extends that one down there. Okay, I'm not sure why that's actually useful. Um, but good to know that's what it does, I guess. Alright, I'm going to throw another save down here. I'm sorry, folks. And now it claims I've been playing for 110 hours! Something is very screwy about the time system in this game when you reach this point, apparently. Uh, so yeah, it's probably a good thing I've played... <laughs> yep. Not gonna make that jump. Alright, well, let's go back up into that tunnel thing and take a look around. Up here. Back through this way. Oh, I forgot to pick that up this time. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I died. Repair, 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 repair. There. Weapons are back in good, in decent condition. Pull my assault rifle back out. Ah! Put my assault rifle away and grab my shotgun and kill something with it. Directly and, like, right in its face. Okay, I'm not sure what good getting here does me. Um, hmm. Well, this is going to be problematic. I need to get down there somehow, because that's where the key card thingy is, supposedly. Oh, don't tell me they really expect... Uh, I, I wonder if I can... Alright, um, let me put another save down here. I'm going to save over the one that I just saved, because I don't really need to do anything else with that. Jump this way, onto this. There is a person here with, ooh, a suit of heavy combat armor to replace my medium combat armor. 
and a TC5 fusion cannon, which would be awesome if I used energy weapons, but I don't. Alright, now we drop <coughs> from here down to here. And that is a jump we can make. There we go. Much better. Attack. Oh, there's another one of these worm guns in there, which I don't really care about. Anti-radiation hypos. And a Rickenbacker access card. Yay! We get the Rickenbacker access card we needed for upstairs. Off of a dead guy, which is weird, because the guy said that... Well, I guess this must be the guy who left that note behind, who successfully made it over here and then died? Or something? I don't know how else that would work. Yeah, there's no way I'm risking getting close enough to that to grab it. Make that jump back over here and walk back this way. Yay! And now let me save again so I never have to do that again. Save. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I will be careful not to save over the decision point save file so that hopefully I can go back and see what I missed when I chose not to go into the uh, cargo bay where Delacroix is, which is, I'm not sure is actually going to change things significantly, but you never know.